Hello, YouTube. We are watching the Triple I Initiative. It's a new gaming showcase. I am not sponsored for this, so you'll get real hard opinions and reacts. We're a minute 15 out. Will Silk Song show up? Probably not. <laughs> but there's a non zero percent chance. So. You know? You never know. Uh, I know Jesse Cox's game is in this. Uh, well, not the game that he's making, but the game that he's producing. So I guess, yeah, I guess maybe he's a part. I think Dodger's also a part of it. That's uh, the Cinder, Gestalt, Gestalt, Full Cinder, something like that. Um, I don't know what else is in here. They've said uh, that this is the a new gaming showcase. That's the title of it. Um, so I'm excited. It, it's about to be, I think, 45 minutes. They said no talking heads. It's just trailer after trailer after trailer after trailer after trailer after trailer after trailer. I got five after trailer after trailer after trailer after trailer after trailer. After, after, after trailer. Show the trailers. World premiere. Here, chat, it's like we're watching with uh, the Drop Frames guys. What is this? World premiere. Is this Slay the Spire 2? Holy! Wow, that's a ways off. That's in like 20 years. Oh, Risk of Rain's getting an uh, update. Uh, I'm gonna turn on the compression. It'll help with the audio levels a bit. How is Risk of Rain 2 these days? Oh, I thought that was Hades too. There's a lot going on visually, and it kind of hurts my eyes, but I can't look away. Wish list now. Cool. Wait, is this that's... This city's got it all. 
I don't know what this Bartenders, is. Bartenders, debt collectors, doctors, waiters, enforcers, killers. Now there's a new kind of killer in town. The bullet might have come from across the street, but the gun came from under it. Black market dealers are just like anybody else. They do their work, they clock out, they go home. Nobody keeps better records than a crook. And killers always leave a trail. All I gotta do is find them before they kill again. Huh. Just says in 2024. I guess that's playable already? Oh, is this Palia? What is this? No, that's not Palia. Is that Xbox, Nintendo Switch, and PlayStation? Oh, okay. We Man. didn't think the Viking raids could get any worse. The Danes are coming. You, a lord of England, must tame the land. Establish a thriving village and keep it supplied as it grows. Construct fortifications and build a mighty castle. Train your forces and prepare to man the ramparts. For our enemies have harnessed an ancient terror. What? In this world of steel and scale, only the bravest leaders, the ones who can defend their strongholds, the ones who can raise an army. Huh. The ones who can fight together. As Dino Lords. <laughs> That's a really stupid now but incredible name. Hey, here it is. Jesse Cox's stuff. I think Dodger's also a producer on this. This game was really fun when I played it on uh, Demo Days. I can already see Jesse Cox's feedback. Yo, uh, can we make the main character a redhead with really long hair? Yeah, Jesse, we heard that the first 10 times. All right, dope, cool, yeah, great. Is that the first time we've seen a release date? Oh, weird. As the most fun I've ever Chat, had that's so weird. Air. You can play as a dog. There are no vampires in this game. You get the right build that's such a strange thing. Vampire right Survivors now, just made another $20 million. Vampires I actually heard the giant chunk of change just drop into his bank account. What is this, like a co-op trailer? The hell? Wait, is that, is that Contra? Nice.
Wow, that's that's so weird. I just heard Konami again drop another 20 million and in, uh, into an Italian bank somewhere. What? There's a furry contra guy? My name is Eric Hillman, and I am- Holy shit, I need a break. I would describe the world of Flintlock as this beautiful mixture of dust and dirt and grime with magic and gods and wonder. My main focus for the music in Flintlock was trying to achieve a sound that felt unique to this world and unique to this setting, unique to these enemies, unique to these characters. For the idea of combat in this game, I wanted it to feel very specific and specifically small. For the gods, I went completely in the other direction. I really wanted it to feel like you were up against something awesome and <laughs> something epic and kind of like you were up against a real challenge. Huh. I am most excited for players to experience a type of game and a type of world setting that we don't really see that much, that we haven't really seen that much in video games yet. Cool. World premiere. Uh oh, it's a feels game. Man, Alaska's wild. Oh, from the studio that brought you Never Alone. Never Alone 2. It was not always like this. Our oh. empire was lost to centuries of mist. Did we overuse the Perlas, their infinite power? Maybe. The horrors were born, and that day, the cataclysm began. We sought refuge on the peak, and we grew stronger there. So it's like a settlement defense game? Then, one night, instead of fear, came hope. Very unique look to it. She bent the perilous to her will. With her, we stood unbreakable. Uh, cat Cataclysmo was the name of that. Take our hourglass, hero. Oh, collect Wait. your bearings and focus your mind. Wait, is that Wayne Judd? and enter death's realm once again wait was that a talent tree wayne june sorry it sounds like him though i've played a lot of this funny enough you really think you can kill but i played it with guy? audio completely off we don't have a strength <laughs> for him <laughs> Ooh, I think I haven't seen the desert level. I don't think. What kind of legend would it be? I've got like 30 hours in this game, and I'm trying to remember what I've seen. Allow me to interfere as God. I want to see Death's heart encased in a prison of ice. Death must die. Insect Queen is new. I have not seen that. Rise again, hero. This Ooh. is not your end. Ten days from now? Well, sign me the fuck up.
when Earth turns against you. Survival is all that matters. We are pioneers of our time. Was this like Fallout Sim City? We live to expand. We live to rebuild. We live to survive. That's a big uh, settlement. End zone two, cool. It's been 17 minutes. Holy. I never thought I would say this, and maybe I'm just old, World but the pacing of this is actually too fast. Why wouldn't he get the 1100 gold sword? That was good pixel art. Undermine too. That's a big bomb. Everyone died. Norland. I'm trying to say the game names out loud. Is this Rimworld plus Cult of the Lamb? Norland. <laughs> it's time for it's the over. next trailer. It's all, it's a chef, it's just an ordinary guy. Oh, this is an indie showcase. This game's already out, right? Okay, it's got a demo. What the car? Oh my God. Holy. 
Okay, this is, I take it back, this is perfect. Whew. Okay, we're going back in. <laughs> we're going Spirits back in. And the whispers brought now to the fore. Is this a full expansion? The light of victory casts a long shadow. And in that nighted gloom, your fragile triumph is under siege. Decency must be defended. Wait, I thought 1.0 actually already hit. Righteousness reinforced. Well, that's a skill tree. This realm must stand fast against those who would seek to poison it and bleed it dry. That's a bug guy. This squalid kingdom, these corrupted lands. Oh, wow. Out today? Now, and you are bound to them. Oh, okay. No, it just says 2024. Awesome. That's great. Hello, I'm Anwar Noriega. CEO oh, thank of God. Some guy talking. Games. I can a team of developers mainly located oh. in Latin America. Growing up, we were heavily inspired by retro platformers, anime, and graffiti, and wanted to share all that love with the world with our own very first video game, Rakugaki. This is the first project we have created together as a team, and we are very proud to be both published by Gearbox Publishing and also included as part of Riot Games on the Represented Founders program. Now, here's the first look. Oh, Jesus. World premiere. Oh, God. They erased everything that made our city great. Our art, and even the people. That is a drained. wild piece of art. But I know what I have to do. Those are some very powerful to spray cans. To get our voices back. Is this Jet Set Radio type deal? Like, what are we looking at here? He's with Jaku Gaki. What? I don't. Raku. Okay. Raku Gaki. <laughs> I don't know what we just saw. Broken Roads is a post-apocalyptic, narrative-driven RPG set in the desolate beauty of the vast Australian outback. To survive, Wait, you'll have to make tough choices guided by the moral compass, an all-new alignment system that will test your worldview against nihilist, humanist, utilitarian, and Machiavellian ideas. Become a hired gun, a jackaroo, a surveyor, or a member of a barter crew. And discover their unique attribute bonuses, starting skills, and reputation within the world. Form bonds with a diverse cast of companions, each with their own moral leaning and ideal outcome for the Man, many this is challenges a... you'll face on your I've journey. I've seen a lot of footage Australia. of Australia, but like, this seems so realistic. Broken Roads is available now. I've heard of that game for some reason, and it was always in a positive sense. Avalon has been reduced to the shadow of a bygone age. Nightmares have breached the last standing bastion of reverie. Okay. The heroes of the Raven's Watch are our last hope to overcome these evils. Is this Raven's Watch? That's not enough to kill me. Raven's Watch. 
Raven's Watch. Heed my call. I am Morgan. For Avalon! And return my dear brother to his eternal rest. Forever! Oh. I fear a darker menace lurks deep within the shadows. Okay. Is that a tiny mouse in a big mouse body? This looks very well animated. I'm hearing Cat Quest in chat. And Cat Quest is apparently a really good game. Whoa. Cat Quest 3. Jesus. game is cool. Oh, DLC. I was pretty bad at this game. This looks really complicated. It's not until it is. I really am a fan of that presentation. Wow, that looks, that looks cool as hell. I love that I'm looking at a city builder and it's not just a boring ass flat Okay. And they're all dead. Wow. That looks incredibly cool. Okay, that might be one I want to check out, actually. The trials are upon us. Will we finally see one worthy of the chalice of immortality? Now, I'd be cool with a wizard who could survive past the first round. This wizard wields fire arcana. Easy to learn, hard to master. Maybe the contest is finally heating up. 
Smell that burning. That's the scent of failure. She's onto an electrifying strategy. Earth meets lightning. Mmm, lightning gets me all tingly inside. <laughs> Welcome to Deadsville. Population, her. Now these four have the right idea. Any rules against teaming up? Nope. Using others as shields is a time-honored tradition. I can already hear someone typing out. I really hope you can turn off the narration. A master. No. A legend. I hope the people don't talk all game. That was clever. I think I'm going to throw up. <laughs> okay. Didn't even see the name of that one because I'm. Oh. A little rotato. Four player local co op? Nice. Dude, with four players, those maps have to be insane to like show challenge. Is this another crab game or whatever? Nope. Never mind. That crab's dead. Is this Tachia on Switch? Does anti-aliasing, like, not have a translation uh, for Nintendo or for Japan in Japanese? Is there no translation for that? <laughs> Maybe that's a little harsh. of Rogue 2 is a high-octane RPG sandbox set in a vast, randomly generated open world. With this ambitious sequel, our goal is to create the most open-ended and fun sandbox experience ever and evolve the ultimate freedom of choice that made the original game a cult hit. In Streets of Rogue 2, your mission is to overthrow a corrupt president of a small country. Oh. Either solo or with friends via online co-op. I like me some online co-op. completely up to you. Assemble a mercenary army and plan a coup. Stage a zombie virus outbreak or just chill out, build a farm, and totally ignore the main quest. Now you're talking. Pick from a diverse roster of playable character classes, each with their own unique, weird traits. Take a look at these glorious bastards. Hacker, uh, chef, I'm gonna turn off the ads. Wrestler, detective, ninja, also gorilla, and werewolf, and... Uh, they might auto-run though, chat. I apologize. More. Be sneaky, or go guns blazing, or make others do your dirty work. Get inventive and experiment. There are multiple ways to complete each mission. Wreak havoc with a vast arsenal of weapons, gadgets, and vehicles. Machine guns, shrink rays, bear traps, check. Supercars and speedboats, check. Boom boxes, banana peels, rat summoning oak arena, uh, necronomicon. Uh, check, I guess. The huge procedurally generated map of Streets of Rogue 2 features multiple beautiful biomes. 
bustling cities, serene countryside, mysterious caves, sunlit islands, creepy graveyards. Explore this lively world, engage with its quirky inhabitants, and write your own story. Streets of Rogue 2 is coming to Steam Early Access later this year. That's a lot of Add content. Add the game to your wish list. What? Was that the name of the game? It looks like Indie Civ. Oh, Old World. Okay. Behind the throne. There you go. I heard Power World was going to have this. Ah, this is the Power World uh, battling PvP. Cool. That was five seconds, but In sure. The city of woe. In darkness, 33 souls join together. Oh, this game looks so cool. 33 gather courage against his law. We're this is the Xbox uh, supported you. published Unite. Bolster your Xbox defense. is involved in this somehow Flee his fierce fire Mend your wounds and press on Yeah, I think it's called 33 Immortals Fiends seek to consume you. The fall may yet be saved. I think this was part of the, the Xbox Indie Showcase. The are rewarded is, is in the relationship. Eternal. Great is the wrath of God, and the second death may take you. Yet together, hope and help remain. Hone your skills. Indulge in modest vanity. Make haste to the gate and quickly rejoin the fray. Oh, that was a cool little ability. Thirty three doomed. Mark my words. Only through pain and sacrifice will thirty three souls become. 33 immortals. Oh, they're Final Fantasy right there. Do we get a release date? Yes. I really want to play that game. Ladies and gentlemen, we have an announcement to make. In a brave new world, Anyone can be whoever they want to be. And nothing says you more than a can of healthy spinach. Spike D with its special secret ingredient. Kids, remember your five a day. Huh. Okay. Stunlock Studios V Rising. Is this their uh, update that comes out next week promo? Is that next week or the week after? Or maybe that's the beginning of May. That's a really cool coffin. And this game's come a long way. It's the Dracula.
Wow, the multi-tiered castles look so good. Did he just turn into a wolf? I will show you the might of the house Belmont. Yep, we knew that guy was in there. Wait, so does he like chase you in the open world? If so, that'd be kind of a cool, like, he chases you around, he's like hunting you. World premiere. We're getting towards the end of this. That fucking went hard. What? Wait, what? Wow. That's just straight up called Prince of Persia. Oh, was that the big, the, the finale? Also, do you think people are gonna be like, why is, why is Ubisoft in a triple I thing? Ubisoft's not indie, they don't, I, this whole thing is fucking stuffed. How are they in this fucking thing? It's fucking, it's the Ubisoft, guys. How we, how, what are we doing, okay? <laughs> yeah, I can already see the, the tweet with the Triple I initiative background. Um... Ubisoft is simply helping publish the title or friend or giving us the IP. They are in no way involved with development or uh, the, the how big how our team is 20 people and it's very it's indie. Please, we, we here at the Triple I Initiative believe that <laughs> they're gonna have to do all that. You think I'm joking? So welcome to the Triple I Initiative. Um, I hope it was a good show, and then you had some uh, interesting announcements. Um, it was and a first try, so I'm out. I hope it all went.
went well um, <laughs> for us and for you. Um, so ah, Spice, the indie the stuff. Of the Rogue Prince of Persia. So I'm Matt, the marketing manager at e Evil Empire for, for the game. Oh, so they're showing and the I'm Prince of Persia thing. Uh, Rogue Prince of Persia, uh, game director. Yeah, so we're going to go straight into straight into the gameplay, and we're going to run through... Dang, they're playing yeah, it in 4K. Kind of, Shout out. Everything about the game, uh, who are we, Evil Empire, what are we doing with... with the Guys, where's Silk Song? Um, why are we in early access? And yeah, hopefully we'll cover everything in, in the 30 minutes. Where's yeah. Silk Song? Let's go then. So we're starting as though it's from a completely fresh save. Um, so yeah, we'll see you from the very, very start. Um, so we're going to cover the story, um, how, the, how the game starts, uh, Guys, the tutorial, and then... Silk Song, Copium. Yeah, we're going to see how, how it goes, if we manage to get to the first boss or not. Anyone yeah, got any Copium in the chat? <laughs> you say that they will die in the first buying. Yeah, I'm not the best in the game. <laughs> <laughs> they can afford a 4K monitor, not in... So yeah, we know Did Ubisoft price, buy the uh, 4K monitor? Out of nowhere. Um, what, d how did the they get that? If they're indie, they for, shouldn't be able to afford a 4K monitor. There was, there was none. So, um, yeah, it's a surprise, and also it's in Steam Early Access, which is which is a bit different for you. Yourself. Everyone knows so 4K the, uh, is too many we'll, pixels we'll for an indie game. For the minutes, uh, yeah, it's, it's a strange one. This is the beginning of the game. So it's a classic... Prince of Persia made a mistake, and now there's a there's a Hun invasion of the capital city of Persia, and he's got to stop the Huns, and now he has to figure out what what he's got to do. The animation for this is you probably noticed first. So it reminds me of the old uh, stick um, fight videos. Our, our lead artist Dylan, he's pretty proud of. Yeah. Well, yeah. all proud of. <laughs> yeah. You guys remember that? Um, yeah, it's kind of inspired by Mobius. Am I pronouncing that right? Mobius. Mobius. Um, he's done some famous um, sci-fi. Um, Franco. Is, is he Belgium? Is it just Franco-Belgian comics? Oh, I don't know. Yeah. Really. <laughs> I can't remember. Uh, yeah, he speaks French. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, and it's all I know. So yeah, it was basically the whole art style is inspired by Franco-Belgian comics. Um, and obviously uh, the fresco. It's smart for them to do this. Persian frescoes. Yeah. Um, so it's kind of like a blend. I was two. I was memeing on it, but like pretty pretty beautiful. In the in the fresco in the Persian fresco, you, the perspective was uh, very crushed. I, so there might be an argument for the fact that the game that they're showing after game and, uh, also is the, like Ubisoft. Um, decoration on the border of the of the fresco. Mm -hmm. Are in the game, in, in name, I, I don't know like uh, how that works. In the what we call the cutout of the uh, the, the, the environment, it's uh, the thing uh, the camera see in the face. Uh, so. yeah. yeah, this music is great. So it is, it's pretty stunning. Yeah, yeah maybe can, we can music that. might be the best part. <laughs> try to, try to, to it goes to hard mix, uh, to mix two cultures, and we think we don't need to Yeah. No, I agree. No, it's my job to say. <laughs> <laughs> so these are the first enemies. They're like the the trash mob, um, and these these are the double daggers, kind of the the signature weapon, and the key art, the one which everyone loves. And then yeah, see right the there. Pr items. What so what Tron the Sec just said. Um, the only indie game on the showcase getting more airtime is Ubisoft IP. A, yeah. Like a teleport kind of power. There's. Um, well, it might not be the only boss. game. Um, they, won't spoil everything. they did say multiple developers, yeah, and it's just, just a way to give you it a, is the game that they uh, ended on. Want to keep the uh, hype going. And then all the um, the primary weapons, they're all hand to hand. Then here, yeah, you're, this is where we'll be learning the the traversal move set as well. Oh, so that you was got the cool. classic, the wall run, the iconic Prince of Persia move, which. Um, you kind of built the game around, I guess. Yeah. Uh, the, um, did, did we build the game around this movement? Uh, I don't think so, but we built... I'd be cool with the trend of big companies the, hiring indie devs mm -hmm. to make smaller so, projects for the IPs. Uh, in every movement, the that Mountain City Builder, Lacera, is out in early access if you want to try it out. I'll probably wait for 1.0, um, uh, uh, but it does look cool. Classes that than <laughs> working on a, on a, on a, on a wall. Um, the prince is also very human in uh, his movement. He cannot double jump or things like that. Uh, 
he stayed the human the human with great stamina yeah, <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> yeah but, uh, weird music stick. choice yeah how do you figure so yeah the pod team's made loads of little embellishments on his movement as it's not the prince of dubstep or there's little flips, there's little prince of moves. rock um, it's the prince of her <laughs> yeah, we, we put a lot of work yeah. in, the, in the move set so i don't really like a uh, slow weapon uh, but <laughs> is a slow weapon so i keep my double <laughs> i think he said it's 30 minutes we don't have to show, show everything yeah prince of j-rock yeah it had a hip flop um, so yeah, line there for some reason. Now it seems times it wasn't bad, just fell out of place. Who we are. Um, so we worked. Well, um, we were uh, created to work on post-launch content. I'm formulating uh, a response that doesn't make it seem like I'm being an asshole um, to you. Um, but that's finished. Um, and we started working on, on this game a few years ago. Other music has um, so beats to it that aren't hip hop. So we, we think we've got a good base to create yeah. this, this kind of game. Yeah, we, are, we, we have a bit of experience. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, here, here you, you can see my favorite characters, the two, uh, two rascals. Yeah, uh, they're so cool. The I don't know if I stated that I really like them. properly, but... And the kick. Yeah. I think that's my favorite move, if we're talking about favorites. Yeah. Um, it's super satisfying, the kick. And it's um, it's uh, one it's uh, one yeah. eco if You're right, the, we'll um, the wall run is an uh, iconic movement of Prince of Persia franchise. Uh, the kick is an iconic movement of the rock Prince of Persia. The, it's something there's a weird uh, specific for, for this game and lots of cool. things. Uh, <laughs> there's a weird bit, clash uh, for me between the, the, the capacity of world environment to, and the player to, model. To be able to knock them. To control the flow of the of the combat, um, obviously we are in, in the tutorial, so I'm not really in danger because I know this game pretty well. <laughs> but you can control the flow of the combat. I guess when you see uh, the background the art, yeah, yeah. Like, like I, for the world uh, environment, it get, get that matches. I will uh, take care of your friend and uh, he come back to you later. And uh, it's um, it's a uh, bread and butter. The, the, this it's looks very fluid, though. Animations are and kicking someone off very good. Is yeah. just, just fun in any game, just to kick someone yeah. off. Yeah, <laughs> it might be the thick, the thick outline on the character, maybe. Um, so yeah, so Evil Empire. Um, what else did I not say? Um, so yeah, well, how do we end up working with Ubisoft? Well, it's a few years ago at GDC, the convention for game developers. Um, obviously, we already had a bit of experience uh, on Dead Cells and the game goes all French and you just people meet up to, to, to chat and then um, someone just said wouldn't it be cool if we could make like a Prince of Persia ro action roguelite yeah. um, and then they kind of you know people talked about it a bit and then we came back with a pitch and obviously it wasn't super simple it's still two studios talking together but we ended up with like yeah let's go for it yeah and um, Take a bit, uh, a bit of a long time. You know, in a, in a lot of ways, if people target this but, uh, but we, we for being so um, to, be, yeah. to, to be able to work on this like AAA like with this Ubisoft, Konami was also in here. Like in the, in the development team, we all played this game when we were young. Yeah. We like it, and uh, we I think it fits. Played the original on uh, on uh, the older computer, and we played the trilogy made by Ubisoft. It was. Game. Yeah, I think everyone's got a memory of Sarah Trying to think what yeah, game was most yeah, impressive for me. First of the war, and you're just like, <laughs> yeah, and, and, and you saw probably that Lay Sara thing. That Lay Sara thing was sick. Mm -hmm. In the game, it, it's a, uh, it's a lot better to. Yeah, uh, <laughs> that's for sure. <laughs> to the left hand, yeah. And even this. And even, uh, <laughs> We, we, it's yeah, yeah. We like this game. <laughs> yeah, but it's just to say that it's it's a Prince of Persia game. It, from the very beginning, we wanted to make a Prince of Persia game. It's not uh, just to make a roguelite. It's, it's yeah. to really make sure it feels like a Prince of Persia. Vampire Survivors uh, DLC, uh, Potato DLC, Absolutely. a lot of DLC. In the, in the first um, hour of the development, we we were focused on what make a Prince of Persia game. What um, what is interesting in the game? What make it click? And uh, we try to stay true to the, um, the, the 
the nature of, uh, yeah. of the game. And uh, we hope... Uh, I hope oh. you guys are excited for more uh, <laughs> what is indie on Drop Frames Sunday. And so we, we, we <laughs> try to stay true to the essence of the game and uh, we hope we did well. Yeah, I mean, you've got... Because I'm going to prompt it combat, you've got and traps, then slowly got walk away these, from the screen. Uh, really cool platforming scenes and then you've also got the story of a Persia in danger, the prince has made a mistake and he has to save everyone yeah. and become a better man himself. It's... Absolutely. Yeah, it's Prince of Persia. And, <laughs> and the prince has no name. Yeah, the prince has no name. It's a, a creative choice. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it's also an aqueduct. This is the aqueduct level, and it's got these really cool. Um, what do we call these? Like slide water slides? Yeah. Oh, I really like the toboggans. Ah, the, the royal saber. That's a cool yeah. one. Yeah. So you get these really cool I love this music. Music you're, is you're just awesome. Um, I, I love it. So good. You're just showing up now. Yeah. yeah <laughs> sorry, sorry. I was focused on the things. So don't way. mess up. Don't mess up. <laughs> ah, it's um, it's uh, this one is um, the altar. Uh, you sacrifice so a big, a big chunk big of chunk your life chunk. point to get a weapon or. Another thing you you'll see later, um, but with a big power up. Yeah, you see that one to seven is yeah, it's, it's not nothing. Yeah, but uh, I wonder how many other games they're going to show here. Pretty scarce. I'm trying to decide so when it's, uh, it's, it's not, enough is enough. It's not um, it's not cheap. No. I kind of I I'm curious though for the sake of the showcase what happens after this. So the so, so is all about the choice you made. Uh, during your play time, so we. we oh, yo. Oof, we, you think they said this part so would be 30 minutes? This first, so, this is half of it so far. Is, yep. And then, yeah, I got it. <laughs> or, or is, are you uh, saying the, to, the Prince of Persia part is 30 make, minutes? Uh, combat, um, 30 minute per game? Combat, uh, you need yeah. to always be on edge always be moving um, we might wrap it up then after this i hope you like it yeah i like it <laughs> <laughs> and obviously there is oh she mentioned we have 30 minutes to play okay of course. yeah because it's in some passage the levels seem pretty large if that's the I case. I say that this is like a standalone as well in the Prince of Persia series. Um, I'll, I'll go for this first. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, this is Feriel. This is the <laughs> 30 of, minute run of Vampire uh, Survivors. Um, she's a general, uh, a Persian general. And we, we said um, earlier that uh, the prince made a mistake and triggered a war. So he was not uh, here during the first uh, hours, the first day of uh, battles because he was knocked out and uh, was sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> um, so uh, her, his mother uh, made all the battle and she she was overwhelmed and she, she they lost, but they still fight and they try to to push back the. Um, uh, oh, there's uh, yeah, there's footage of that. So there'll be there's quite a lot of these uh, law rooms, how do you say it? Rakugaki, um, or at least screenshots of the footage. And then through this, you can unlock yeah. biomes. You unlock new weapons. Not weapons, but um, kind of looks a little bit like bullet helly. Deblock, unlock uh, certain things. But it's a 3D Actually, game. Because uh, what is a Prince platformer of, game of sorts. Mm. So we needed to make a roguelike that tell a story. It's not uh, an easy, uh, an easy thing to do because no. uh, <laughs> roguelike don't don't like to be a linear story thing. So telling a story with something we you always um, going back to the to the beginning is a bit weird. So um, you you we 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 found a way of doing it. I uh, think you like it. Uh, because you need to 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 decipher puzzle to uh, to understand what uh, what um, uh, 
trigger something, what, um, yeah. what do you say, um, event, um, an event, what triggers uh, Yeah, well, what yeah. event to trigger uh, another event, and uh, like, uh, since your character is trapped in a time loop, mm -hmm. uh, there is a, a better I guess they are going 20 minutes, or 30 minutes, I mean. And if you play with it well, you can unlock new biome, uh, you can unlock new characters and things like that. Yeah. You can save your country, but you can also save your family. Yeah. And also steal my favorite characters. <laughs> and it's also, um, this is also kind of a reason I need to eat the rest of my breakfast. One of the reasons why I'm doing early access is because already to make a roguelite, uh, there's lots of roguelites that go through access for a, for a reason because it's it's kind of difficult to get that that balance right but also this dynamic story progression we have the devs the for arcade gk are part of riot games in, underrepresented in founders access. program um, yeah they mentioned more. that and um I or the I, I that was the one with the, the guy with the dog yeah, right i i i can i i can use a teleporter so why why did i eat it <laughs> sorry mother i'm just going to school that's why they sponsored yeah. him clearly Oh, that was cool. See, Dude, this game's got a vibe to it animation-wise. Like it. Hades, Hades 2 is going to go through again. Yeah. There's um, even Baldur's Gate 3. Went it just flows. Um, so it's something which you we know works for these kinds of games. Um, I guess I shouldn't expect anything less from the Dead Cells well. folks. Yeah, absolutely. Because uh, working with the player on uh, um, previously on the those virtual game we, we worked on was the blast working with the community is, is yeah. always something very interesting so um, i forgot the guy's name his dev we, studio we, name we, and probably we, the I game yeah. his when, name when is on play, but i remember play, lupo you always you need <laughs> sorry you always need new eyes so we we do play tests things like that but nothing nothing um i want to see how a boss fight looks working no. with uh, the player directly yeah. and being able to communicate with them so we want to make this game because we like we love this game uh, we love what we did with this game but we want to make it better yeah we to know take it to the next level yeah absolutely yeah. absolutely and doing that without the community for us is is not it's, it's, it's not in, it's impossible yeah 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 because we there's so much stuff to add yeah and obviously we've got our own ideas of what we want to add yeah, it's absolutely. not like we're blind and we don't know what we're doing yeah. it's just uh, to work hand in hand with the community just is gonna make this it looks like game. a boss yeah, arena for now it's uh, our game um, it's uh, the Babylon uh, Empire game but when the, the Robert Fulton Garcia will be released it will be our game our game and the game of the player yeah. so uh, we need to we want to maybe yes. nope never mind I mean, we're only like 15 20 people yeah. Already, yeah. it's like it's, yeah, <laughs> it's, it's not like a, a massive team. Yeah, and we will see. Oh, wait, it is. Was that a missing animation or did it go in biz? She has with me every, every time. So you, you, you made this boss to kind of encourage people to use the war one? Yeah, absolutely. Right? Absolutely. It's, um, it's, uh... If you don't use it, you die, basically. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I think he's just like, just keep, just he's, keep he's animating did, it. Did you understand <laughs> that you can use the, the wall run? And so it's, not, it, it will not be easy because it's not an easy boss, <laughs> but uh, it will be easier. See, chat, anime stands for uh, Japanese for animation. <laughs> it's actually good to show the, the Persian fresco, which is what we were talking about earlier. Yeah. The, the, the flat art. Yeah. We, now, I'm not a weeb, we to, to but I have to seen to that to see show on. speed, they will have so characters yeah. teleport. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. That's good we get to see the story. Yeah, it was. Oh, it was oh my god, developers are bad at their yeah. own game. How could they make sure. game <laughs> if they're bad at game? I don't understand. So, yeah, this is um, the Prince's Bowler, um, which yeah. takes him back to the last safe place he was in. Yeah. Um, every time that he dies. 
So it's, um, the, this, this object is, is an artifact. Someone who claims not to be a Weeby sure know a lot about the anime? The yeah. yeah, the prince. Uh, Mods ban him. Always, he's all, uh, has always been li living a uh, rogue life. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. We're gonna say it a rogue life. We're gonna assume it. Yeah. Because <laughs> he knows too much. Die or he, 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 he is near uh, dying. As his bola uh, bring him to the back in time to the nearest uh, point in time where he was safe. And this is why he's so skilled. Yeah. Because he's been able to take these big risks when yeah. he was younger. Absolutely. And, yeah, Absolutely. Uh, if he want to jump uh, from a roof, uh, mm. he can try. What country are these two from? Every, I think the guy on the right yeah, is from America, <laughs> and the but person on the left, I think, is from. Uh, right I think French Canadian. It sound, no. sounds so like a Mon Montreal. Uh, that was a terrible accent. Montreal. No. There you go. Yeah, I would think so, maybe with the Ubisoft yeah. relationship. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> So this is the oasis, like the hub of the game. Um, and later on, this is where you'd be kind of forging your upgrades, speaking to people. Uh, there's like a training dummy. It's like the classic hub yeah. um, for, for a roguelite. Like, we're, gonna, we're gonna see the dummy. Yeah, I, 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 I really like the, the dummy uh, animation. It, it's, it's cute. <laughs> I, I, I need a, a plush, uh, a plush <laughs> So yeah, this will kind of fill up with things as, as you, you discover more yeah. of the game. Let's check if I've got anything else we wanted to say. I think we kind of covered everything. We've still got See, now this feels very indie to me. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. The, um, yeah, we will see uh, something cool uh, on the, just right now. When the loading is finished, we will see something cool. Um, right now, the game is not uh, totally finished because we will do an early phase. Yep. Uh, we, like we, we, we told you um, uh, earlier, uh, what is finished in the game? Um, uh, what I'm, I, I ask you the question, the question. <laughs> <laughs> because I, I want to be a streamer, but I'm not a bad streamer. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that was a long loading game, time. Whoa, see, I, I really like that art. Uh, when when it has this backdrop, it matches. Focused on making the core gameplay look uh, mm -hmm. the better possible. Uh, <laughs> yeah. the Ubisoft uh, gave 4K monitor, but not an the, SSD. All the, um, the crank uh, of the game feel at maximum. At maximum. Yeah. Uh, we try to make the character the, 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 the character of the, how do you say it? Um, uh, I'm struggling. Okay, what was saying in <laughs> French? Um, uh, uh, yeah, I play in French. Uh, I'm sorry, my English is very bad, like you, you understand. <laughs> um, uh, agréable. Um, le plus agréable possible. Uh, agréable? Yeah. Yeah, it's like a, a nice, yeah, it's a nice, yeah, okay. nice way. We, we, we work on making the, the prince the, the most pleasing thing to... Moving, moving with the prince uh, need to be the more pleasing thing you do in the game. Yeah. And we, we work a lot on making yeah. that possible. We keep using the words like fluid and flow. Yeah. And it really does feel like turn the music up? super smooth. And yeah. This is like quite long. Yeah. They said uh, every... Yeah. The game is going to get 30 minutes, I guess? Mm -hmm. uh, every movement must be cool. Yep. And the flow of the game must be cool. It's a... Uh, you, 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 you saw in the, in the game that you never lost... I don't know how many games they're going to show, though, from but... The, from the, the character does, goes up, do, does not go off screen. Yeah. Uh, we call that seamless. But, uh, to, to be fair, if, if you guys... The, the like, showcase is over... And this is like the post yeah. showcase thing. So like the actual showcase, uh, if I were to give yeah, a review of that, I'll echo what I said during um, the actual thing. So the little object it was actually too fast. Uh, 
uh, you can <laughs> like I needed like five seconds make fire when between each game or something like that I don't know you can it's fine so it make image it's, yeah. uh, it's it was a crazy but tempo you yeah you also, also but at the same time I actually really respect that combine mm -hmm. each effect with each other. It, it, I'm so, kind of a fan of it uh, and also, uh, no silk song. Sort of you know? Poison is good. Uh, that will slow down the enemy. Need, need, uh, need the silk um, song. Poison and uh, fire mm -hmm. will make big explosion. Yeah. So you can try to... Um, it's like create a build and create synergy. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And you can uh, just... Because uh, you can see the two uh, green arrow here. Uh, when you put a trinket in the slot, you will... Uh, Better than Cock Media? Cock Media is not even the same breath of existence compared to this. For a first showcase, for a brand new indie initiative, 10 out of 10. And combine very well with long range build and uh, build that attack from behind because he attack first from front then he come back yeah. and he attack from behind so uh, one time i, I had my missile and um, missile uh, build because in the front cock media is called ply on now back. yeah but most people remember so the like cock media really showcase really not the ply on showcase everywhere and it was pretty fun to, to play uh, this should wrap so this up here. Like, uh, if you catch him, he gives you a ton of gold. Oh, it's a treasure gabo. Like that. Um, but yeah, and then also when you upgrade your weapons, they can have effects as well. Like you make more damage to someone who's on fire. Yeah, absolutely. As well, so you can kind of mix and match your weapons and medallions to make uh, the build that you kind of want to do. As yeah, well. absolutely. So as you've always spoke about gold. Gold is like the currency in run, just for one run, yeah. and you can spend it on like buying new weapons or health restores or upgrading things. Yeah. And I checked out Bulwark, currency, Falconeer like, Chronicles. No. Uh, five minutes left. Yeah. Um, basically Don't know what that is. Yeah, you can you you will be able to unlock a new weapon. I've heard of the and name, but there. New medallion. Uh, free, Jimmy. Country. Yeah. Um, all, and you will find them new run. We have a ah, uh, maybe change. maybe I can oh uh, no uh, <laughs> this is a disappointment yeah we have um, what we were expecting is a um, is a challenge room uh, but what is a challenge room it's a special uh, special room with a platforming challenge puzzle challenge that, that uh, rewards the player with uh, a new weapon a new medallion. The thing is, you can try the weapon and the medallion on the run you currently <laughs> in, yeah. But All right. you need to chat the conversation and buy it to is play over. Play with it on the, letter. the best so comment um, you can try the has been found on, um, about the, the showcase. List. And if, they, if it, <coughs> you don't like it, you don't need to buy From it. a man named and Guzardo. And there is Azadeh. Comes the line, Ubisoft showed up at the end, so they need to rebrand the Quadruple I Showcase. That's it. Thanks for coming out, everyone. So that, as you can see, there's nothing else to see here. Mentioning earlier, sometimes when you have dialogues, that helps you to unblock different biomes yeah. and different things and then you find out more information and then you can add this all up and then you kind of know how to adapt your run to unlock new stuff um so yeah there's the six biomes um six biomes in one six biomes, six biomes and, and two bosses yeah but there's lots of stuff to do within them uh, lots of stuff to unlock um, yeah. lots of stories so like together. we need um, to have so a conversation about silk song a ton of stuff to do Mm, still not not <laughs> when, when is that and fucking happening? Two or three minutes. Oh, no. I might find one. Oh, so. Uh, the well, what game. are we doing here? Now I have what is toxic projectile. Okay. So, uh, if I put it here, I have a poison level one. 
if I put it here, I have a zone level 2, but my uh, fire kick will also, also. Uh, level up. JP, you need to let Silk Song go. The accident wasn't your fault. <laughs> I win it. I win it. I need my box. I need the box. Yeah. And so now, what, what can I, what can I do? I can put thing on fire, a poison thing when I attack from distance. I don't have the right build for distance right now because I will kill everything. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, we're coming to the end of the time, so um, I hope that gave you a good taste of what the Rogue Prince of Persia is about and that answered some of your questions. Um, we'll be posting loads of stuff from now until the release date, um, so more information about early access, more information about the game, who we are. Um, but yeah, there's the animated uh, and gameplay video, which you probably saw if you came from the Triple Initiative. Um, and there's the Steam Store page for more info, and we'll be around on social media. Um, like um, like Lucy said, we're going to be super involved with the community, so we'll be around on social media and the Steam forums. We'll be there. Uh, we should leave a message. And yeah, um, thanks for playing. Yeah, th thank you for, <laughs> <laughs> for having me. Uh, and um, yeah, cool. Thank you right. everyone. And uh, I I hope you like your game because. We, we, worked, we worked hard on it. Yeah, we worked hard on it and we worked with love on it. So. Yes, especially. Yeah. Cool, well. Bye. Hope you see you soon. All right, what are they going to do next? Hi, it's Vicent, creative director of Cataclysm. All right, we're going to wrap up the video here. This is Israel. <laughs> because they're going to be going on for a while with all these. We might watch some more on uh, on Twitch, but... Yeah, I'm kind of curious to see what they show. Uh, Cataclysma actually does look kind of cool, so I might jump back and, and take a look at that. But uh, yeah, that was the Triple I Showcase. Right right there. That's what that was. Um, thanks for watching. Make sure to like the video if you like the video. Subscribe if you aren't already subscribed. And uh, all in all, I give it for a first showcase. It was good. It was really good. Ten, nine out of ten, ten out of ten. I liked it a lot. Excited for more. We'll see you on the next video. Have a good one. Bye.